The Danbury Junior Hattricks begin their foray into the North American Hockey League this season as a team from Wilkes-Barre Scranton heads north. They inherit a roster that went 26-22-5 and in 2019-20. That gave them 57 points and a third place finish in the East Division. Head coach Billy McCreary is excited to bring an NHL team to Connecticut for the very first time. Yeah, we're thrilled. Um, you know, we're, we're really excited about the opportunity at hand here and not only to be a part of um, you know, such a reputable league, but to be able to continue to grow the game in the state of Connecticut, uh, help grow the North American Hockey League. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of and we're thrilled to be here. The Danbury Ice Arena looks to be a phenomenal place to play and watch junior hockey. Yeah, we're, we're pretty lucky here um, with our ownership, uh, owning the arena. Uh, there's always upgrades going on. Um, you know, we have a uh, 2,500 seat facility. Uh, you've got executive suites. Uh, we've, we've recently put in a bar restaurant. There's an ax throwing lounge going in, uh, an arcade that's, that's being put in right now. So um, there's a ton of things going into the process. Uh, there's a new video board that's currently going up. So uh, we like to think of it as a family, uh, family fun event center. Um, you know, with high level hockey and, and certainly the NA helps us uh, with that product. And, um, you know, on, on the back end of that, we get to continue to, to be a part of high level junior hockey and continue to grow the game here in Connecticut. Just like when he was a player, McCreary's goals include developing players for the next step in their careers. Well, for us, it's priority number one, um, you know, building a culture that, that allows leaders to come in and uh, work on and off the ice, not only in, in enhancing their skills on the ice, but enhancing their leadership skills off the ice. Um, you know, we want to be an advocate for our players, so we need to know that they're um, being professional in all senses of the word on and off the ice and, you know, continuing to reach out throughout the course of the year and keep in constant contact with, with um, you know, relationships that, that we've been building for many, many years. So. You know, we're really excited about the opportunity, uh, the culture that we're going to be building, and uh, certainly player development and player placement is is first on our on our priority list. The puck drops in Connecticut this fall.